Hey, it's Dr. Ko here from Reset Ketamine, and there's been some really interesting evidence and science coming out regarding mystical type experiences and ketamine therapy. And there was one study that was recently published where they took patients who had history of alcoholism and treated them with ketamine therapy. One of the things that they found in that study was the greater the mystical type experiences that that research participant had, the more likely they were to be able to abstain from alcohol. In addition, there was another study where they looked at patients who suffered from cocaine use disorder. And again, in that study, they found that the more mystical type experiences that that person had, the more robust the effectiveness of ketamine is. Now, what's fascinating is I practice using something called the biopsychosocial spiritual model of medicine. Meaning that the human, I believe, consists of more than just cells and DNA, but also includes the mind the psychology, and the spirituality of a human being. Now, although there is no scientific data for a spirit, for example, oh, hey, the spirit weighs 3.2 ounces. That's not valid necessarily, but I also believe that there is something that transcends what is physical. And maybe because during these ketamine experiences, we're able to kind of shut off that default mode network, that kind of judgmental, critical aspect. Maybe we can get into contact with our own individual spirit or soul or whatever you may believe. Now, I'm not trying to impose anyone's, you know, my own beliefs upon you, but it is interesting because there is something that I believe when we can connect to this feeling of interconnectedness or this feeling of universal oneness or this connection with other human beings, it can lead to some pretty profound effects. I also think about PTSD, for example. So if PTSD can be triggered by one specific negative event and make a potential impact for the rest of that person's life, could the reverse of that be true? Where one positive mystical spiritual oneness feeling lead to a positive impact for the rest of their life? And is it possible for ketamine to be that catalyst for those experiences? And these are really interesting questions to think about and ponder. So let me know what you think. Feel free to leave me a question, a comment below. Feel free to hit that like or subscribe button so that I can know that these videos are going to be useful for you. Thank you and I will see you next time.